What is up, you amazing people? It's Nima here, and today I want to talk about a game that I got to play recently called The Battle of Polytopia. Now, if you're like me and you're into the Sid Meier's real-time strategy civilization type games, then you're going to really like this game because it definitely has that edge, but it's kind of like a mini version of it. And I'll get into that, but first I have to just say thank you so much, all of you who hit the like button, the subscribe button. It's massive. I can't thank you guys enough. We're almost at 600, which is insane. You you guys are amazing. Now this is going to be one of those reviews where I'll have video of course, but the video is not going to do the game justice because this is a very kind of slow moving game. The visuals are fine, they look okay, but again it's not going to be anything like eye popping or amazing. And that's kind of how these games are. They're more, they're more a slow burn if you will. And that's how a lot of these games are meant to be played. Like when I was in college, me and my friends, like we were badass. We would start Friday night playing Civilization and we wouldn't stop until like Monday morning. We were like so cool that like the girls didn't even bug us over the weekend because they knew that we were that busy. For some reason they didn't bug us the rest of the week either but doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway the thing about this game is though is even compared to like Civilization 6 which is a streamlined version of C Civilization you're still playing it for god probably a solid like 8 to 10 hours. This game you can actually finish in about 30 minutes to an hour depending on what mode you choose because there's three different modes here and there's a domination mode where basically there can only be one tribe left. There's perfection mode, which basically gives you a 30 turn count, and in that time, you can focus all of your efforts on one thing or another, it doesn't matter, at the end of 30 turns, the game's over. And where you place is going to be your ranking, and you can actually take that score onto a global leaderboard, which is a pretty cool idea. Then there's also the creative mode. Now this one, you can decide if you want to go perfection or domination, you can choose the size of your map, you can choose how many tribes there's going to be in the game, and you can kind of have some, some parameters that you can choose, but there's some that you can't, and, and that's something that we'll get to. For the most part, this game offers a lot. I mean, you have exploration, you have combat, you have farming, you have structure building, you have this entire world to build, essentially. And you can go a bunch of different ways. That was one of the things I thought was really cool. When I first started playing, I just kind of did the basic build up an army, try to explore. And then, like, I got into this domination fight, which went on for, like, four hours. It was crazy. And I essentially was pinched. Like, I was stuck into the corner of, like, the map. So I couldn't go any further because I'd actually made allies with my neighbor and all all I had was just this this like little square that I could call my home and no resources to build anymore and then it dawned on me oh I've got the ocean right next to me. And I ended up making, like, the biggest naval army you've ever seen. Like, I just had ship after ship after ship. I mean, we were just destroying people with all these ships that we were building. And, and you get to actually get more resources that way, too. And your um, your resources and your borders actually expand, especially when you do really well on the ships. So there's a lot of stuff like that in this game that I think is really cool. Now, as far as, like, the graphics are concerned, it's low poly. It's a good look for the game, though, honestly. Like, it's very detailed very clear you you can see exactly what character is like what you know uh, what unit you're using whether it be you know like a catapult or a knight or whatever they're very aesthetically and visually pleasing as for the sound it could be better it's pretty basic and that's fine i understand that especially for the price point on this game but the other thing that i really really enjoy about this game is all the tribes so there's 12 different tribes and they're all named close enough to like real world tribes i guess of people that you can kind of understand and you can definitely predict how they're going to act and what's going to be their strong suit and if you can't predict it you can see it because there's a, a little bit of just an explanation of how this tribe worships and what's you know their like main military aspect or diplomacy or whatever it might be and I think that's a really cool complex aspect to have in this type of game where I keep talking about the price and this game American is like I believe $12.99 it might be $14.99 I'm not exactly sure but it's below $15 which for that price you're getting a great game like I said like playing domination on a huge map with all the tribes involved this could go on for hours and hours and hours so much fun now okay here's some of the bad things about it and and i want to preface all of that with something that's actually in the game under the about section it actually says the battle of polytopia is a constantly being created by Mijuan ab a tiny indie game studio in stockholm sweden so i actually got a hold of them and i asked them like what do you mean by that and they said essentially they're continuing to always 
always make more updates. They're continuing to add on to the game. They're continuing to expand the game. And that's just a constant thing that's happening, which I think is awesome because there are certain things in this game that I wish were tweaked just a little bit. And a couple things I, I kind of wish would go a little bit further. But once they have those, this game's going to be perfect. Now, the first one I have to say is when you're setting up your own match, I wish you could choose how many turns. Like for some of us, 40 or 50 would be perfect instead of like the 30. 30 is just a little bit too short. Another issue I had was with the domination. I wish that you could do this in a bunch of different ways, like a cultural war win, a diplomacy, and of course the, you know, hell, war is hell, you know, killing every other tribe. But I, I think that would be cooler just to have different options because there's going to be some groups that have better intentions than others. And you don't really get to expand upon like the culture war aspect, which is huge, I believe. And finally, I just wish they would expand the skill set. So one of the things that you can do in this game is you can actually expand the capabilities of your civilization as well as grow. And this is all designed by the stars that you get. So for every turn, you get resources or you have a, a troop in the right area or wins a match or something, you'll get stars. You know, enough stars, you can afford a new, like a new path, if you will, a new option. You know, you can go from like being into horse riding and foraging and things of that nature or mining, mountain defense and metalworking and things like that. Or you can go like I did and just become like an all aquatic kind of civilization. And so you have all these options, but I just wish they would go a little bit further because especially like in domination or when you get past, I would say around 40 turns, you kind of expand everything you can. And there is, you know, obviously things to use your stars on. Like for instance, it's how you, you employ different soldiers and stuff like that. So there's definitely uses for them, but I just wish that you could maybe become a superpower in some form. Like let's again, let's just say cultural or, you know, uh, diplomacy or something because you could do that and where you can't really invest all of your time in everything. Like, I just, I don't know. That would just be kind of cool. But aside from that, I think this game is great and I think everyone should check it out. It's really fun. It's really, it's a streamlined, simplified, yet with a lot of depth type RTS or civilization type game. And for the price, you're getting a banger of a deal. Not to mention performance. This game I never had any crashes, any hiccups. It ran like a dream. So let me know if you guys like these type of games or if you're thinking about getting this one or or if you've never heard of it, whatever. All comments down below. I appreciate interacting with you guys. It's one of the best parts of my day. Like always, guys, I'm wishing you health, wealth, and above all, I hope you're truly happy because you guys make me happy. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.